A hundred years ago, half the people in North America lived on farms. Today, there are so few family farms left, the U.S. no longer counts them in the census. The number one cause of death for the American family farmer is suicide. Family farmers have to exploit farm workers in order to make the profit. They have to exploit the water and the land in order to make that profit. And I think real farmers know that's wrong. Small farmers were put out of business by cheap food raised on giant factory farms in places where crops are grown all year. But the bounty of this industrial agriculture has a hidden price, and the bill is coming due. When you have like huge grand sized farms that are trying to you know, provide for the entire United States coming from one area, you're just not going to get a quality product, you're not going to get a nutritious product. You need to eat fruits and vegetables, but it's where those fruits and vegetables came from that's equally as important in terms of freshness and nutrition. Food is such a fundamental need, and the way that modern industrial uh, societies have evolved, we seem to be so disconnected from uh, our relationship with food. Most kids today don't know that every bit of our food was once alive. It's this system that is so centralized and so vulnerable. The recent example where Several people were killed, hundreds sickened by spinach grown on one farm and processed in one packing plant in California that sickened people in Michigan, in New York, in Arizona, in Washington, Oregon. It really woke people up. 